Mike Mella here with Bobby Sweeney from DirtTrackDigest.com as we uh, come to you from the Albany Saratoga Speedway from the uh, massive Malta weekend here and we just concluded the 100 lap Super Dirt Car Series event here and uh, shock surprise winner here I guess is the only way to say it Demetrius Drellos career victory number one with the Super Dirt Car Series. Man talk about a smackdown started on pole but you could have started him 20th 25th and I think he still would have been in contention for the win at that end, I think, because he was so much faster than anybody else tonight. He originally started off kind of running low, middle, and once the top came in, he was, no one was even in the same zip code as him all night. No, there was a couple of restarts, a couple of double file restarts midway through that race, and I think Larry White pulled alongside of him one time. Uh, Matt Shepard was there for a little bit. Billy Decker had his shot uh, at, a, at a restart, and none of those guys could find the line to get my Demetrius Trellos. And, and as you said, as that race went on, he migrated higher and higher and higher, and I think at the end there, off of four, you could barely see his car. He was so close to the wall. Yeah, his line was definitely a lane and a half up from really anywhere what anyone was running that night. And like what you're saying, he had some double foul restarts with challenges. People could stick with him for a couple laps. Like I know a few times Larry White had some really good runs on him, but once he got some heat in the tires and got momentum built up, there was, there was no even staying close to him. No, he definitely earned it tonight here at Albany Saratoga Speedway. Billy Decker, talked to him after the race. He finished his second, and, and he was, uh, as he likes to say, tickled. You know, he had a good run. And it was something that this team needed. You know, they've struggled here kind of through the summer. So a second place ever here at Albany Saratoga was something that Gypsum team needed. Yeah, he's been, he's still been fast, but he has been a little bit off by normal Billy Decker standards over the past little bit. But tonight, great run, great shot in the arm, move forward. And he was the only person that could even remotely keep Drellis and his sights laid on in that race. So good run for a 91 team. Yeah, Matt Williamson finishes in third, continues that streak of a strong run. Stuart Friesen from... Never Neverland, uh, somewhere high teens to end up in position number four. And uh, the new Bicknell continues to kind of pay off for him. And he said, you know, I just had to find what it liked. And he, like Drellos, he found something that car liked up on the top side. Oh, yeah. I mean, other than Drellos, Friesen was the only one running that extreme, extreme top lane. It was real, really entertaining to watch late in the going and picked off White, almost got Williamson at the end and Decker as well. It's a good battle. Yeah, that three car battle at the end, it was Billy Decker. Uh, Matt Williamson and Stuart Fries, and that's the way they'll finish. Larry White comes home in position number five. Matt Shepard, uh, uncharacteristically a tough night for him here at Albany, Saratoga. Traditionally, Malta is his place, and uh, he ends up in position number six, but you had a chance to uh, go over and check out what happened there. Yep, power steering went bad pretty early on in that race. He started second and was hanging right with Drellos through the majority of the early stages of that race, but once the power steering went in that car, he slowly, slowly slipped back a little bit. Yeah, not bad, though, to, to, to hang on and finish in position number six for Matt Shepard. Mike Mahaney uh, came from the consolation event, or the last chance showdown, if we're calling it by its proper term, to finish in seventh. Eighth was Danny Varon. Ninth, Anthony Perego and Ronnie Johnson rounded out the top ten. All in all, I mean, some great racing here in Albany, Saratoga, and, and again, the shocking winner, Demetrius Drellos. And, I mean, you, you always expect, you know, expect freezing, you expect Hearn, you expect guys like that. Hearn, I mean, he was in the top 10 a little bit there, but he finishes outside the top 10. Uh, that's a guy you think, expect to run well. Peter Britton, you know, another guy, not a good night, but the shock of the night still, hey, and you got to give it to him, hats off to Demetrius Drellos. Yep, like what you just said, hats off to Drellos, 22 years old, first Super Dirt Series win. I thought he was younger in 22. <laughs> we get over to his pit afterwards, and I'm like, he's, he says he wants a beer, and I'm like, no, you got to wait a few years for that, but turns out, oh, well. Just because he, just, just he's shorter than you doesn't mean he can't drink beer. I guess, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and that comes from Bobby, who's also 12. But, uh, again, great night of racing action here at Albany Saratoga Speedway. And, as always, you can check out the latest news notes, quotes, all of that on DirtTrackDigest.com. And uh, for Bobby Sweeney and Mike Mount, we'll see you down the road here uh, on Dirt Track Digest.